Cutting across to these visuals coming in from the national capital. The area is Punjabi Bagh. There is reportedly a fire at a warehouse in the area. A truck laden with goods caught fire in the warehouse. Several fire tenders have been rushed to the spot. We try and connect with Bhavto Singh for more details. But for the moment, this is what we are getting in. That this is a warehouse in the Punjabi Bagh area where there was a fire that's been reported. You can see huge plumes of uh, black smoke, thick smoke coming out from that area right next to the flyover there. Bhavto Singh joins us with more details. Yes, Bhavto the fire broke out at around 1.40 uh, this an hour back in a in a truck in fact uh, which was parked in a go down now according to the fire department officials the uh, eight fire tenders they sent to the spot uh, they had uh, brought the fire under control uh, no one has received any injuries but the truck has completely been gutted uh, the fire department says that the truck was carrying perishable item and that's the reason why it caused fire so quickly the real cause for the fire is still to be ascertained but uh, because of this, uh, this uh, incident, there was this huge traffic jam also on the busy ring road. And the uh, traffic police is now working over time to clear the, uh, the grid clock that had happened just a few hours back. Well, how long has the fire been on, Bhavtosh? And because we see thick plumes of black smoke also uh, you know, raised into the sky, were moving up. And uh, they, they seem to be, they say the fire seems to be quite ferocious in that area. Well, in fact, yes, uh, the visual clearly shows that, uh, that, uh, that there was this huge fumes of smoke uh, from the spot where the fire broke out. In fact, uh, this visual has been taken from a distance of at least a kilometer away uh, from, from the ring road, which is uh, near the Punjabi Bagh uh, flyover. Uh, and uh, the fire department has said that it took them nearly one hour to control the fire, primarily because of the material that was being carried in the truck. Uh, there has been no other, uh, other uh, incident of fire reported from the warehouse. It was confined only to a truck which was parked in the warehouse. The cause is still to be asserted, but the fire department has said that the truck is completely gutted and uh, they, they are now trying to find or inquire as to what really happened and why the truck caught fire. Were there people around? Uh, are there any injuries that have been reported? Well, uh, no injuries have been reported. As soon as the incident happened, everyone uh, uh, fled from the warehouse and they immediately called the PCR and then the fire department was called. Initially, at least three fire tenders were sent, uh, but because of the nature and the velocity of the blaze, they decided to send four more fire tenders. Uh, in total, eight fire tenders were sent to the spot. Uh, this is located very close to the ring road, uh, which is uh, which is the main uh, road of the of of, of West Delhi, and that's the reason why you have this massive traffic jam that happened when fire department was working over to control this place. Uh, things are under control, and inside the fire department has said that uh, very soon they will call off their uh, rescue work. Now, was this truck parked inside the warehouse or just on the outside, very close to the main road? Because uh, we are getting some visuals and, and that shows that it's, it's very close to the, the, the service road that passes by right under the ring road. Fly In over. fact, uh, this is a warehouse uh, which is uh, close to the industrial area uh, of Wazir uh, Food. Uh, this is adjacent to Punjabi Bagh, which is in West Delhi. And uh, when the fire broke out, uh, the fire department said that the initial call that they received was that the fire had broken had in fact, uh, uh, it had happened inside the warehouse in some building, but when they reached the spot, they realized that the fire was confined only to one vehicle, which is in fact a truck. Uh, and uh, they have said that because the truck was carrying a perishable item, it's still not clear what it was carrying. Uh, the fire quickly spread, and uh, in fact, the truck has completely been cut in, but uh, no one has received any injuries. That was the fire department just saying as of now. But once the fire is brought under control, they will ca uh, carry out their own rescue uh, work inside that warehouse and we'll see whether anyone has to film any kind of injuries or, or have been affected by the smoke. You said eight fire tenders have been rushed to the spot. Uh, and how long has this fire been raging on? Well, it, uh, it started at around 1.40 and was brought under control at around 2.40. So for nearly 60 minutes, the fire department had to work uh, over time to control this fire. Eight fire tender means that it's a medium kind of a fire and uh, it was not dubbed as a major one. But uh, the visuals as well as the photographs that we have clearly shows that the huge plume of uh, black smoke coming out from the warehouse it was taken from a distance of one kilometer. So it was clearly a, 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 a big incident and that's the reason why from three fire tenders, at least eight fire tenders were sent to the spot. Uh, it has been brought under control, that's what the fire department is saying. And they have said that they will carry out an inquiry as to ascertain what really happened, whether there was some kind of malfunction inside the truck or whether it was a deliberate act or some kind of mischief. 
Well, the latest visuals that we are seeing at this point, Bhavto, show the truck will, like you, like you mentioned, uh, totally gutted on the one hand. But uh, there, there seems to be plumes of smoke coming in from adjacent, from near to the truck. So do we know the kind of goods that this truck was actually carrying? And, and any word as to what could have possibly started the fire? But still not very clear as to what uh, what was stored in the truck and whether there was uh, some kind of perishable item or some chemical that was stored uh, or was being transported in the truck. The fire department has said that because uh, the truck has completely been gutted, uh, they will have to first inquire with the owner of the truck as well as with the owner of the warehouse to ascertain what exactly was being carried out or whether it was a prohibited material. But uh, they have said that uh, because of the, of, the, of the nature of the fire, you have this huge plume of smoke that was rising up. Uh, and which have in fact been spotted from a distance of one kilometer. In fact, these visuals and these photographs have been taken uh, from a distance of uh, one kilometer from the flyover. So you can clearly see that it was a big blaze or a, or, or a, a massive fire that had broken out in a warehouse in Punjabi Bank. Well, uh, you know, Bhavtoj, the latest visuals not just show this truck, the nature of the truck. Clearly, it was carrying something uh, uh, like like chemicals or uh, we don't know the nature of what. Uh, we also see water cannons being fired, thrust uh, not just uh, around the truck, but also into the warehouse premises, the building. So it looks like the fire did spread into the building, at least the first, uh, the ground and the first floor, because there is fire emanating even on the ground floor as the pictures had just zoomed in just a short while ago. And as they pull out, we see water cannons uh, being fired even in into the into the first floor so clearly it looks like because of the explosion uh, uh, there seemed the fire has spread uh, beyond much beyond uh, the, the truck itself well Aram, the reason why the fire department is doing so is uh, according to senior officials they tra they're trying to cool off the entire area even if the fire had not uh, broken out in the warehouse they're making sure that it does not spread as you rightly said that there was this explosion in the truck and they're just carrying out a cooling process so that fire doesn't spread to other parts or into the warehouse where, uh, where these kinds of material, whether it's a chemical or whether it's a perishable wood, which is stored, it does not spread into that. And that's the reason why you see that now after controlling the blaze, they are carrying out a cooling, uh, cooling of period. Uh, this will continue for another 25 to 30 minutes. Uh, but uh, clearly, a, uh, clearly an incident which, uh, uh, which required fire department to press into service at least five, uh, eight to nine fire ten days. But there is damage. There is damage to one part of that warehouse, one portion which uh, the ground and the first floor and I think some part uh, of, of the second floor towards the far left of the screen as the viewers are watching. Uh, there seems to be some amount of damage because that entire uh, part portion is covered with soot. Uh, the, the paint has been worn off and it's looked burnt, uh, burnt and, and there is smoke emanating from inside the building premises. So clearly the fire has spread a bit. But overall, uh, the report, like you're saying, that the fire tenders believe they have controlled the fire. Now, now it's about a, a matter of time when they'll be able to put it out because there are flames emanating even from the ground floor. Uh, we could catch it in the in the pictures that we're showing to our viewers right now. There are some thick uh, and, and raging, uh, blazing flames coming from the ground floor at, at this point in time. So, so there is an effort that is on to try and put and douse that fire, even though it seems to have been controlled. It's not spreading any further, Bhavtosh. And in fact, the fire department has said that they have got the fire under control and they have, uh, uh, they are now carrying out a cooling process uh, in, in incidents like these which involve or with, with the fear that chemicals could have been stored uh, the fire department after uh, dousing of the fire or after quelling the fire. They also carry out the second part of, uh, of the rescue work which involves cooling of the entire area. Now, there are reports that there could be chemicals that could have been stored there but still not very clear. The fire department has said that uh, they will carry out an inquiry, uh, inquiry to uh, first see whether it was an accident or whether it was some kind of mischief and then hand over the probe to the Delhi police. Uh, the police still maintain that no one has received any injury in this fire. As soon as the uh, fire broke out, everyone uh, who were inside the warehouse and also the, the yes. driver of the truck, they fled from the spot and it has now been brought into control. Well, accident or sabotage, that is the big question and, and the fact is what kind of material looks like highly flammable material was being stored because it has spread even into the warehouse, the ground and the first floor, one portion of the warehouse uh, that is being doused out at this point in time and uh, that power portion of the building covered in soot because we still see thick plumes of smoke rising. And there is fire even at the ground levels. The truck right in front of the forefront of the screen for our viewers completely gutted, gutted at this point.